Good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well today. My name is Zoe, in case you haven't watched my other videos. And today I'm going to be going over a really nice grounding technique to use if you are in a moment of distress or anxiety. It is um, getting in touch with your five senses and you can do it when you are sitting inside of your home. You can do it in a meditation or um, here I want to show you my cat. This is Victor, my kitty cat. He's so cute. Um, so you can do it anywhere and it can help you just get in touch with your body and to become more grounded in the moment so that the feelings of anxiety and pressure um, are lightened and you can feel just better. So in this exercise, we are going to be getting in touch with the five senses. Do you know what the five senses are? One you do with your eyes, seeing, one you do with your ears, hearing. One you do with your hands or your body, it's touch, feeling. One you do with your tongue, <laughs> it's taste. And one you do with your nose, <laughs> smell. So in this exercise, this grounding technique, we are going to be getting in touch with those five senses one at a time. And it's called the five, four, three, two, one technique. Because we do five of the, um, we're gonna find five things that we see, four things that we can feel on our bodies, three things we can hear, two things we can smell, and one thing that we can taste. And doing this kind of distracts you and really puts you in the present moment, which is what will bring some more inner peace. So should we do it together just as an example? I think that sounds good. So I'm sitting in a chair, but you can be sitting on the floor or on your yoga mats. This is something you can do at work if you're a parent watching this. Um, something you can do in school, you're a child and you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, which is okay, everybody does sometimes. So first I'm gonna start by taking a deep breath. It's, it's trash day again, so bear with me here. I'm gonna name five things that I can see. I'm gonna name them out loud. One is I see my Beatles mug with my coffee in it. Another thing I see is a book. I see tree. That's three. Number four is my kitty cat. Oh, I wish I could just see him everywhere. I would never be anxious. And number five, I'm gonna go ahead and say I can see the blue sky today. This is a really fun exercise to do outside because there's so many beautiful things to see and smell in nature, but it's also wonderful to do inside. So that was my first one, five things that I see. Now for four, we're gonna count four different things that we are feeling in our body. So, Let's see, I really have to get in touch with my body for this one. I can feel the wind blowing hair on my neck. I can feel the ankle of my pants on my ankle. I can feel my cheeks move when I smile. I can feel my fingers because they're interlaced. I think that's four. Very good. Now I'm going to identify three different things that I can hear. Wow, that one's easy for me because it's kind of noisy out here. 
I can hear the trash truck or maybe it's the recycling truck. I can hear that. I think that's the trash truck reversing. I can hear birds chirp. I think those are the grackles. And I can hear somebody hammering something in the distance. Those are three different things that I can hear. For the next part, we're going to identify two different smells. Now this one, if you can, if you're able to move around, that will help. Sometimes you can't smell much. But if you have to stay seated, just, that's fine. I'm sure you can find something. So right now, I can smell once again. I can smell my coffee. And I washed my hair, so I can smell my shampoo still. So. What can you smell? And for the last part of this grounding exercise, we are going to identify one taste. And this one is a little bit tricky because sometimes you can't taste anything. Um, I obviously can taste my coffee. It's kind of mixed with toothpaste. It's kind of a weird flavor, but that's okay. And um, if you can't taste anything, what you can do is either just experience the taste of nothing taste of your own mouth, or you can think of your favorite food that you do want to taste. So that was the grounding technique of five, four, three, two, one. And it's a really helpful tool in becoming grounded in the present moment and experiencing the moment through your five senses your physical senses rather than mentally overthinking it and becoming really anxious. So I hope that you find this to be helpful if you're in need of that and that it's something that you can carry with you and do whenever you need to. All right, friends, have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye-bye.